Viewing 3D Geometry When working with 3D geometry, it is necessary to be able to rotate the geometry at any time and also render geometry to prevent any optical illusions. This is accomplished using the Rotate View tool and Display Rendering tools. This ability removes less interpretation by colleagues and permits the designer to communicate his exact design intent. In this topic, you will learn how to rotate geometry to any custom rotation, or rotate quickly to any standard orthographic view. You also will learn how to save your custom views for future use and render using display mode rendering. When working with 3D geometry, it is very important to be able to rotate the geometry around any axis. It is also necessary to change to any standard orthographic view. Let's begin by opening the 04-architecture.dgn file. Here we have the top, front, right side, and right isometric view. You want to be able to change to any standard orthographic view and rotate to any desired view. First we need to locate the rotate and standard view tools which are located up here aside of fit view. You can open as a toolbox. Or you can locate in the view tab of the drawing modeling and visualization workflows. They are also located in the viewing pop-up menu. The pop-up menu is, exact, is accessed by pressing the shift plus right mouse button keys. So here we're in the modeling workflow. We go to view. Here are the standard view tools. You can be in the visualization, viewing, and you also have the same tools. So you have many options. The other option is the ability to hold down the shift key and press the right mouse button. And that also opens up the view pop-up tools which allow you to access the uh, standard views and the rotate view tools. Uh, just a note that when you press the shift right button, let's put my cursor over here in view one, when I press the shift right button, the pop-up menu is always placed at the cursor location. Let's work with one view, so we're going to close the orthographic, standard orthographic views, and we'll double click and fit view on the right isometric view. You can now use the standard view tools to change view to to top, front, right isometric. With only one view open, you have more room for designing. So if I go to my view tools, I can rotate. I can say, give me a top, front view, right view, or a right isometric. Very important that you work with one view. Take another look at the rotation. As you rotate the view, remember the actual geometry is not rotating, just you, the observer. You are looking at the geometry from different angles. If you move the plus sign, by moving your cursor over the plus sign, then pressing the left mouse button and dragging the plus sign to any point on the geometry. This will now become the new center of rotation. You can also move your scroll wheel forward and backward to zoom into the geometry at that point. So if I would rotate or move the plus sign, 
when I rotate, I'm rotating about that point. And if I zoom in, I'm zooming into that point. Move it again. Move it to a point. Zoom into that point. Now if I hold my left mouse button and rotate, I'm rotating about that point. That gives you a far more controlled way to view your geometry. Try setting the view as pictured below using the tools I just presented. All of the rotations so far use the cube rotation with the option Preserve World Up enabled in the Rotate tool settings. Preserve World Up means the z-axis is always pointing straight up from the active auxiliary plane. Auxiliary coordinate systems will be in a later topic. So if you look at the tool setting window when you're rotating, you'll see we're in dynamic views. Here is the preserve world up. The z-axis is coming straight up from in the view in this case since we're in a right isometric view. Here if we look at the X, Y and the blue line is the Z axis. What they mean by preserve world up is the Z axis is going straight up here in a right isometric view. Of course in different views such as the top view the Z is coming out at you. In the front view, preserve world up, the Z is up. In the side view, the Z is up. This is the Y Z axis. That's what they mean by preserve world up. Now if I change to the sphere rotation, make it more transparent, less transparent, you can make it smaller or larger. When I rotate the view, I can rotate about any axis. We're not preserving world up. You see the red arrow. You can rotate in any direction. Going around this direction in this direction. You cannot do that with Preserve World Up unless you shut off the Preserve World Up check mark. After rotating a custom view, you may want to save the view for later use for viewing or a drawing detail to clarify design in your deliverables. We will go back to our Cube rotate with preserve world up enabled, then rotate to a custom view. Here's my custom view. I called it Stairway 2. And I can now go to any view. Double click the view, click the screen, back to any particular view that I want. As I said before, these views can be placed in a drawing and used as further clarification of a design. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.